So you transition your toddler to a toddler bed and they won't stay in bed anymore. I have two words for you, toddler clock. Let's talk all about how to introduce a toddler clock to your child, when to introduce it to your child, and how to use it. Today, I am talking about the My Tot Clock. Now, of course, there are so many different kinds of toddler clocks that you can use, but this one happens to be my favorite, and I will tell you all the reasons why? First things first, the more repetition that you're giving your toddler, the more they're going to learn a new skill or just learn a new system or routine. And that's exactly what you're doing with a toddler clock. Now, if you see all the buttons on here, I love that there are so many different features on this clock, which really makes it usable all day long. Now, I'll quickly go through what each color means on here, but the yellow is for awake, light blue is for naps, dark blue is for bed, red is for time out, and green is for alone time, encouragement time, whatever you wanna call it. Um, I would call green with my kids. I would, I for a while I used it as reading time. I can use it as time to clean their room or do certain chores or something, but I love that it has all of these different features. I wanted to make note about the red button and how that one is made for time out. Now, I also wanted to point out that I have a video all about making effective time out for your child, what to do and what not to do for time out. So when you're done with this video, definitely check out this video right here so that you can learn all about good strategies for implementing time out with your toddler. Another feature that I love about this clock is that you can have the option to play a bedtime story. It can also play music and white noise. When you go into the settings, this whole face plate comes off and I actually love that as well because they have interchangeable ones. But when you go into the settings in here, you can see that there are many different features. Now you can go to the time mode so you can set the hour and the minute. And even within the time mode, you're setting the duration of nap. You're setting the duration of time out. You're setting the duration of the encouragement time. You're setting all of those durations in here. And then you're going into the sound modes where you're also able to select if you want a bedtime story on or off. If you choose to have music play after the story or if you don't even choose to have a story on, then you can have the music duration for a certain amount of time and volume. So you can choose how loudly you want each thing to play. That's pretty nice because if your child starts to fall asleep after the story but you still have the music option on, you can make it so that the music is playing quieter than the story and then you can also have it go into white noise. Now the white noise feature can be used for a certain amount of time. I think the options are 15 minutes or 30 minutes or all night long. Now I will say the one downfall of using this version of the top clock that I don't love is that it is not true white noise. So what I generally do, let me grab this, is I will have the white noise feature turned off on the top clock and I will just have a regular white noise machine. Can you see that? Um, this is my favorite. It's the dome, the yoga sleep dome white noise machine. I will have all of these, well all of these, both of these listed in the description box down below this video if you wanted to purchase any of these and I will also include different options for toddler clocks because there are so many different kinds of toddler clocks that you can use. This is just the one that I had for my kids. I've been a mom for almost 10 years, so I know there are new things on the market. The hatch is a really good tool to use because you can select the colors that you're using. With this, you cannot select the colors. It is another downfall. However, you can have it on energy saver mode and you can have energy saving on the yellow, on the yellow and the blue. So yellow is when they wake up, blue is when they're sleeping, and you can save energy on both of these colors so that they're not on all night long. You also don't want it on all night long because blue is going to stimulate their brain and wake them up in the middle of the night thus not giving them as consolidated sleep as they could if you were using something like the hatch. I don't have a hatch, we can pop a picture right here. Um, 
but using the hatch, you can make it a red light, which red is not going to stimulate your child's brain while they're sleeping, so that may be a better option. But then you also have to pick what, you, what features you want in your toddler clock. I chose to use this because I can turn off the blue light only tell my kids that when the yellow what light is on in the morning is when they can get out of bed. Otherwise, they need to stay in bed. Um, what I do like about this though is that there are so many features and you can use it all throughout every single day. And the more you repeat using something and having a system, the more your child is going to learn. So now that all of that is out of the way, I wanna talk about the steps of really incorporating a toddler clock into your child's every day. Many times my clients will say, oh my kid, did, like we tried a toddler clock and my kid just doesn't care about it. Well. I tell the parents every single time, bring back the toddler clock and make them care about it. How do we do that? We use positive reinforcement. We give them a reason to want to obey what the clock is telling them to do. Not only is your child going to be encouraged by earning rewards and having that incentive, but it's also taking the pressure off of you, the parent, telling your child constantly, it's not time to wake up, it's not time to wake up, it's not time to wake up. And in all reality, how can we, as parents, actually expect our toddlers to just know when it is and isn't time to get up, if we don't have something that's telling them if it is or isn't time. Now, of course, your kid can't tell time. So going with a color changing clock is what we need to do for toddlers. I'm getting all cozy. I love just like getting comfortable and having these conversations with you guys. But what I need you to do is introduce a toddler clock before you transition to a bed. You don't want your kid having freedom of the entire house before they understand that sleep time is sleep time and awake time is when everybody in the house can be up. But when everyone in the house is sleeping, your child needs to know it's not time to get up. So I always encourage parents to introduce the tot clock before you transition your child to a toddler bed. And the reason for that is because when they're still in the crib, you can teach them to call you when the clock turns yellow. Even if you know they're awake and they're staying quietly in their crib, wait until the clock turns yellow to go get them so that they can call you and really start understanding yellow is when I can get up. If you're saying that you've already transitioned to the toddler bed and you're really struggling because your kid won't stay in bed, that's okay, you can still introduce the toddler clock. And what you should do is practice with your child. You can have them touch the buttons, have them set it so that it's nap time or bedtime, and have them practice laying down, just make a little fun game out of it, and have them press the button and say, okay, it's time to get in bed, and then tell them to pretend they're sleeping, and you can turn the clock yellow and have them say, okay, look at the clock. And then when it turns yellow, say, oh, it's yellow, it's wake up time, yay! And make a big deal out of it. So you can have this practice time. It's kind of like role playing, and adults do role playing, and I mean, it's definitely a way that we learn, and so we can teach our children to listen to the clock and do what the toddler clock says. Um, not that it's talking to your child, but you know what I mean. Really reinforcing that this is how this is going to work. Let me teach you when you're not tired, when you're not grumpy, when you're not trying to fight bedtime. That is what I want you to do with introducing it and practicing it. The next thing that I want you to do, and I kind of touched on this briefly, but I want you to reinforce obeying what the clock says with stickers. I want you to use a sticker chart. And you can also use very, very small prizes. So the immediate gratification or reward or positive reinforcement that I want you to give your child is a sticker right upon waking up in the morning if they stayed in bed until the clock changed color. You can also give them something like chocolate milk in the morning or chocolate chips in their pancakes and have a celebration. Make it a very big deal. If you make it a big deal, if you 
you're reinforcing positive behavior from your child with the clock, they are going to listen. It's going to take time. It's really important to have realistic expectations that teaching your child a completely new system is going to take at least two weeks of 100% consistency before they really understand what is expected of them and what they need to do. Remember that this is a completely new concept for them. Another thing that you want to do is have your child choose their reward. Once they build up their entire sticker chart, which should only be a couple days worth of stickers, but I want you to have your child choose what their reward is going to be. When they have some stake in the game, they want to win. So involve your child in making these choices and let them be in charge of what they're gonna win because obviously if it's something they want then it's something they're going to comply with if you're still struggling with that bedtime phase of your nighttime routine where you've done your whole routine your child understands the clock they're still getting out of bed and they just have a couple different requests i would check out this video right here this is all about how to use the bedtime pass for your child. It is such an empowering sleep training method for toddlers to understand that they can have choices but they also need to go to bed. So check out that video after this one and keep blooming. Mwah.